Hi folks, I've been wanting to make a video about Far Cry 5 for quite some time now, but I just never knew where to start. I absolutely adore this game. It's one of the most fun experiences I've had on the PC in a long, long time. It's just so good. I'm still playing it over on the Twitch stream. You can catch me on there. I haven't quite finished it yet. And if you want to see the entire playthrough, then there's a link down below in the description. You can watch all on my Let's Play channel. And it's, oh, it's just so, so good. So what is Far Cry for those of you who maybe haven't come across it before? Well, it's basically a first-person shooter with a good smattering of open-world exploration, a odd sort of storyline, which I'll get to more on later on, and it's injected with a good, healthy dose of humour as well. It's got so many elements I like. Open-world exploration, the ability just to go off and do crazy things, lots of little things to pick up and collect for those of you who like just ticking boxes and finishing quests, uh, fishing, hunting, shooting... There's a ton of vehicles to drive, both on land and in the air, and there's stunt missions to do with all of these as well. You don't have to do any of them, you can just enjoy as many as you like, you can just go through the main plot, you can ignore the main plot and just go off exploring, hunting and fishing and doing quests for the locals. It's got it all. And it's even got co-op play as well, so you can play with your friends, which makes it even better. So the, the very basic plot of Far Cry 5 is that you play the part of a sheriff's deputy tasked with bringing down a local religious cult of nutcases who've taken over the fictional Hope County in Montana in the United States. These guys have control of the entire county, they even control some of the authorities, they've enslaved the local population, you were sent in with some US Marshals to bring them down, that all went wrong, and then you're left with the task of freeing your companions who were taken prisoner, freeing the local population who then fight on your side and join the local militia, and taking down the main bad guys. I mean, that's it in a nutshell, and I say the main plot isn't really all that important to the game, and some of the main storyline is actually a bit iffy and probably the weakest part of the game. It does catch you out sometimes, though, like it did with me on the stream the other night, so it does keep you on your toes, but overall, the fun part of this is doing all the side quests, rescuing all the, the main characters in the game, many of whom can then be called upon. You can bring NPC companions along with you to fight during the missions, during, well, just during the open world part of the game, doing whatever you want. Some of those companions bring vehicles, like the pilot in the plane or the helicopter pilot. She is absolutely crazy, by the way. And yes, there's even some animals. There's a bear, a dog and a cougar you can bring along as companions. But you have to rescue them all first, which means doing a little side quest to unlock them all. And most of these side quests involve lots of shooting, lots of explosions, some driving vehicles, and, you know, just a whole lot of fun. I actually can't remember the last time I laughed out loud while playing a computer game before I played Far Cry 5, but this one's had me laughing time and time again. Uh, hmm. Fine, I have a shovel launcher. Whoa, 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 what? whoa, don't go in there, don't go in there. <laughs> I won't anymore, no, oh, Jesus Christ, why did you? Get out. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> like it was just this poor bastard running around in circles on fire down here. That's me. <laughs> That's the way to do it. All right, we've got a bison as well. <laughs> bison was actually an elk. Was it? Yeah. Where's it gone? It sounds like something's beating the crap out of the car. Yeah, it's stuck stuck to the car, actually. <laughs> it's... <coughs> it's in the... It's somehow in the back of the van and its legs are sticking out. There's a huge amount of weapons to play with to get through the game, and the great thing about the game is, there isn't a right or a wrong way to play it. It doesn't matter whether you want to go around like a stealthy ninja, or just wade in like an action hero with a machine gun over your arm. You can do it either way, you can go in melee, you can go in as a sniper, you can go in pure stealth, or you can go in guns blazing, dropping out of a helicopter, parachuting in, machine gunning everything on your way down. It's entirely up to you, every method is viable, it's whatever floats your boat, and that is what I love about the game. It is not restrictive in any way. 
Sometimes I'm in the mood for a bit of stealth, other times I'm in the mood for going in with the flamethrower, as you can imagine, that is my sort of gun. And sometimes I just want to go in beating people over the head with a shovel. That was the first thing I did to take down enemy in the game. And I laughed back then, and I still laugh when I do it now. So some of my favourite weapons are obviously the flamethrower, the M60 machine gun, there's a 50 cal sniper rifle, which all these weapons are upgradable and customizable by the way. You can put silencers on a lot of them. You can put scopes on nearly all of them. Oh, and that's right, there's bows and arrows to play with too, which are fantastic fun. They're great for stealth kills. They give you a bonus also when hunting. And you get more skins off an animal that you've taken down with a bow and arrow. You know, the game just seems to have it all and I've been crying out for something like this for a long time. It's the first Far Cry game I've played in the series, and I am definitely going to be playing more of them. In fact, I've already got Far Cry 3 because that came free in part of the bundle that I bought Far Cry 5 in. So I think I've already had my money's worth out of buying Far Cry 5, and I've got Far Cry 3 to enjoy as a free bonus. And another aspect I like are the vehicles. Any vehicle you see in the game, well, I think pretty much any vehicle, as long as it's operational, you can jump in and you can drive it, fly it or sail it. Yes, there's both air and watercraft available as well. And various locations you unlock around the map act as a spawn point for these vehicles. You can go into a garage, say, and you can order any vehicle that you've currently unlocked in the game, either through buying it through the store or finding one out in the wild to use. Yep, there's all sorts to do. And in addition to this, they are just so much fun to drive. You can take any of the vehicles off-road for all they're not designed for it. They're not too fragile, they don't break as soon as you hit a tree. It's just there to be fun. It's not there to restrict you in any way. The whole thing is designed to be fun. One of the most fun times I've had is driving around trying to run over the enemy because sometimes it's more fun than shooting them. This also applies to the wildlife and you may have seen me trying to ahem, run over certain bits of wildlife before. 75 meters. Oh, gonna get you. Gonna get you. Oh, there's another one. Gonna get you as well. You what? Yep, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, yeah, I'd run, son. I'd see what's happened to your two mates. <laughs> so I can, I can. I'm gonna get that turkey. Did I get him? I did not. Where's he gone? Whoops, I got the dog. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> okay, so I got the... Uh, I did get the fence in the end. Well, the turkey's still up. <laughs> that is one mean turkey. There he goes. He's still in there. <laughs> right. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a, there's a roadblock up ahead. That turkey's still going. How the hell? Right. As well as just driving around or flying around in the planes or sailing around in the boats and jet skis, well, there's also stunt missions to do. You see, Hope County had a local legend called Clutch Nixon who did these death-defying stunts like setting his car on fire and then driving around a racetrack. And well, you know, every time you find a plaque dedicating some event to Clutch Nixon, you get to have a go as well. And some of these are crazy hard, like the one where you have to jump off a mountain and wingsuit down through some hoops. And I cannot do that one. I need a lot more practice at that. But the sailing ones, flying ones, a lot of driving ones, they're absolutely awesome. It just adds another element to the game. You don't have to do any of them, and some are probably so hard that you'll end up getting frustrated and just giving up, but they're there to do as a challenge, and there's a huge element of humour with everyone as well. Now, I mentioned that the main plot is kind of the weaker part of the game, and it is the bad guys, because, well, there's one main bad guy and then all his family. I'm not going to give away any spoilers in here, but throughout the game, they'll constantly kidnap you, to which advances the plot and the story. Then, for some reason, they just let you go again, and, and well, most of the time anyway, and you continue. And the whole thing feels a little bit weak, I have to say, but it does catch you out in places. There are bits where it just slaps you in the face and wakes you up, and you think, I should have seen that coming, but I didn't. And do you know what? That is really good. Just when you think the plot is getting dull and repetitive, 
it gives you a bit of a surprise. But overall, I'm not playing this for the main plot. I'm playing it for the action, the guns, the craziness, the driving, the stunts, the co-op play in particular. I've had so much fun playing this on the stream with Aimless and TC Freer, a couple of other streamers, that it's it's just made the game. Any game you can play co-op, to me, is already a step ahead of anything else. And yes, that is co-op through the story mode. It's not a separate multiplayer thing. The game does have that as well. I haven't really tried that very much. And to be honest, that doesn't interest me, just running around level shooting other players. But it's the story and the environment that makes Far Cry 5 a wonderful, wonderful game. And speaking of the environment, there is a whole lot of stuff to do. There's so many secret and hidden features. There's so many little Easter eggs put in there, little nods to other things here and there, stuff to go and explore, stuff to go and find. The wildlife in itself is quite dangerous out there. There's a huge variety of wolves and bears and bison and turkeys, yes, even turkeys, that will just savage you given half a chance. Of course, you can go hunting these and sell all the skins and feathers and everything else for loot. You can go proper hunting, you can take bait and try and attract predators. And there's also a load of little side quests called challenges in the game, where you may have to, I don't know, hunt so many uh, caribou or so many deer or so many bear or whatever, and you'll get perk points. Yes, perk points, something I haven't mentioned. There's a huge amount of perks you can actually buy in the game. Things that will allow you to carry, well, the most useful ones being extra weapons. You can unlock extra weapon slots to carry more guns around. And then you can unlock the ability to use a parachute, use a wingsuit to automatically repair your vehicles to pick the locks on safes and doors to carry more ammunition of certain types to make you better with certain weapons there's all sorts of wonderful things you can customize the characters just exactly as you would like to there's also a huge amount of things in the environment that you can just blow up and that's one of the best things of the game you get things like dynamite and pipe bombs and c4 explosive and yes, there are certain points in the game where you're supposed to use them, but the best thing about them, there are lots of points in the game the way you're not supposed to use them, but you can do anyway for hilarious effects. For example, sticking a C4 on a Jeep, letting the hand break off, let it roll down the hill into a roadblock and remotely detonate it just as it arrives. Yeah, that takes a little bit of setting up, but it is possible. And it's the ability to do crazy shit like that in the game that I absolutely love. I love the open world games, things like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, anything where you can just wander around and just set up some crazy situations. You can do stuff with the NPCs or the wildlife or whatever, stuff that, strictly speaking, probably was never intended, but works anyway and ends up with hilarious results. That's the sort of game I adore. So yes, as you've probably guessed, I highly recommend Far Cry 5 just for the comedy value, if not for anything else. I know people who've already played through it about three or four times. Some of my viewers have. Personally, I'm very near the end and very close to finishing it, which I'll probably do this coming Monday night over on my live stream on Twitch. So come along and see if you want. But to be honest, don't play it with the thought of finishing the game or play it for the storyline in particular. Just play it for the fun you'll have doing the side quests, for exploring, for meeting the side characters, all the inconsequential, not so important stuff. Play it for that because that's where the game absolutely shines. Well, with Far Cry 5, I just reminded myself that there's a whole lot of fun to be had in games and that should be key. So yes, I absolutely love it, and yes, I am going to be playing more of Far Cry, and yes, I'm going to be looking out for more games like this that I can go and play over on Twitch, because it's so much fun playing this and having you guys as an audience watching and talking and joining in, and in some cases playing with me whilst I'm playing them. So, link down in the description, you can come and watch me on Twitch finishing this one off and playing other games, and of course there's another link as well, you can go and watch my entire playthrough of it so far, I think we're up to about episode 55 over on the Let's Play channel, it is so so good, and little flaws in the game I can totally overlook because I've just thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed it too, let me know your favourite part down in the uh, comments down below, and hopefully I'll see you over on Twitch sometime, and you can check it out with me live. All right, thanks, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.